guys, it's Zira here. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded again. Sorry, my job has been slightly demanding lately. And the fact that I've also been going back to school next week at the time of this recording doesn't help either. Because, well, that just pushed everything back, being so stressed because I'm taking another 14 credits of courses again. So that's going to be pushing back stuff a lot back, but um, there's a couple of other things as well. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk about this art first before we get into all this um, drama type stuff thing. So this is a commission work I did for a friend of mine who did pay me, thankfully. And um, this is uh, Dark Souls favorite cat girl Felicia with her beautiful hair that just makes me want to nuzzle in it and fall asleep in it because it looks so nice and soft when we get to the hair coloring portion of that and I just want to make it clear that I know nothing of Dark Souls I don't know anything about the games or anything like that the only reason I know anything about Felicia is because is my friend is a Felicia fanboy like he loves Felicia so much he I could tell it's like his number one favorite character of all time and I don't blame him she's freaking adorable no I do not care there, that there's barely any fur covering her entire body who cares she's still adorable and she's still cute and I just want to bury my face into her hair because it looks so soft and fluffy sorry I'll never get over that <laughs> So the thought process behind this was supposed to be Felicia lying on uh, a bed just um, greeting you when you come home and just like you want to snuggle and take a nap you want just want to chill and relax and just hang out and all that and um, that's essentially it it was like it was just supposed to be a nice simple drawing but it turned out to be a little bit more uh, time consuming than I thought it was going to be. Mainly with the fact that like her fur and her hair just like, oh my god there's so much of it. There's like so much fur and her hair. I love it so much but god damn is there so much of it. I mean I'm glad it was blue. If it was just like a plain ordinary color I might have gone insane because I love shading blue hair. I mean, it just looks like so soft and fluffy and just like I want it. I want hair like that, but eh, it's just like probably not gonna happen because I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about it yet. So anyways, the other main problem with shading hair and fur is like the way I style and um, shade my hair and all that, it took hours and upon hours like shading the bed like the blanket right here which is like kind of supposed to be similar to a painting but not really I mean there were some parts like I couldn't get to like it to look like a corner bed without screwing up so eh, that part came out very well but like um like her skin was like the easy part I mean it was really easy but then when we got to the hair and it's just the way because I do like single strands of hair because it twists and turns so much it was really hard to get some of the corners and all that and that's why it just took so much time to do and the eyes were also a bit tricky too because I'm not used to doing cat eyes I am not used to doing or just demon eyes in general I'm not used to it yet but I'm glad how these turn out and if anyone's wondering, because I know I'm probably going to get some questions for Dark Stalkers, star, Dark Stalkers or Dark Soul fans, either way, um, yes, Felicia eyes are green. They're not blue. Um, the only reason they're blue is because of the marketing team, but her original eye color is green. Plus, it just looks better, because like, if you just have just blue and white, it just looks kind of boring. Just adding that little pop of contrast just... Oof, just makes it a whole lot better. Now, if someone asked me to draw Felicia with blue eyes and paid me, then I would do it. Otherwise, if I ever draw her again, she's gonna keep having green eyes. That's about it about on that. And, um... 
Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's the hair. It was just like, holy crap. So many twists and turns, so many flips, and so many just... Just so much hair! Can I take a nap in it? It looks nice and soft and fluffy. I, I really should stop that now, I know. It's getting tired, but it just looks so soft and fluffy! And, like, the only other challenging part is, um... The two strands of hair that come out of her head. Uh, the two light blue ones that come out of her head. Those were a little bit tricky because they're not well, they're kind of supposed to be like hair, but they're supposed to be like ribbons at the same time. So it was that one was like kind of confusing, and um, I don't know when we get to it, but when we get to the fur, like um, the really tricky part about how I did my fur is like what I would do is that I would uh, section off on um, the chunks of fur and then like fill it in like how I do like my bangs. Um, when it comes up and shows, it'll be a lot easier. It was the only way I can think of to make all the fur that look like fur nice, soft, and fluffy. Like, it just looks nice and soft, and you just want to snuggle. I just want to snuggle with her now. It just, like, she just looks like a nice snuggle buddy, just with anyone. And I'm just like, ah! Jelly. I'm so jelly right now. Jelly, jelly, jelly. But, um, oh, here we go. Uh, Oh, what the heck was I doing with my voice? Okay, so yeah, so I did like a rub shade first. And then um, when I get that done, it should be like right about here. Um, that I actually did the actual fur fur to make it look like fur. Uh, now just a little, yeah, like right here. See like how I did like sections like that. And then I would fill them in with some shading where they'll make it look like fur. That part right there was probably harder than the hair because I have no idea where the fur was going. Going most of the time, at least with the hair, I knew somewhat where I was going. For the fur, I didn't really know what I was doing. And I did make a mistake right there you saw earlier with her necklace. Uh, I do change it later, but it, the her choker and her headband are not fur, it's an actual piece of cloth because she is a nun, which shocked me. I was just like, she's a nun? Okay. And then when I heard more about her, I'm just like, can I have her as a sister? Oh my god, the hair on, the st on her, her fur on her stomach was the one I'm just like, Ugh. I just did not... I just particularly just did not care for it at all. It's just because I'm just like... But that was the best I was going to get because it just... It was just like... It's kind of like in an awkward place in an awkward shape. So it did not really work quite as well as I hope. But it still turned out pretty good. Now just a quick update. So, um, there will be an update video coming out hopefully in... September explaining some things that have been going on and um, why I haven't been uploading again. Again, I said, I know it's also what I said in the beginning because school's about to start at the time of this recording and now my new job, but it also has to do with a lot of stuff that happened in my previous semester, which hopefully by September a video will come out explaining it. It's not going to be the video I planned in uh, July because I, I lost motivation to do that video again. And I'm just like, damn it. I did not want that to happen. I did not want that to happen. But it did. It did because my mind is on a big trail of like, I don't know what to do anymore. So hopefully um, I will able to get a video explaining what's been going on and all that, but I can give you like a quick brief of, um, like, a, uh, I guess like a uh, snippet before that, because I still have some time left over. Um, it has to do with an old best friend of mine who is now no longer my best friend because she doesn't understand that I am busy now. She doesn't understand that I need to get my life together and a, she became a total weeaboo and that saddens me that about that but and that is honestly the biggest reason about that is because of her and just stressing to get everything done
done and all that. I mean, like, holding my breath right now. I gotta take a breath. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh. I don't know why I hold my breath whenever I talk in these videos. I, I really don't understand how I do that. But we're just about to get to the end of the video. And oh, Shining Your Tail was actually quite fun. It was actually kind of easy, but kind of hard at the same time. But, um,. Yeah, it had to do with a friend of mine who is no longer my friend and just couldn't accept the fact that I am not the same person who I used to be as a little kid anymore. So hopefully the next video will come out explaining everything and what's going to be going on in the future and all that. So here should the shot of Felicia, the final shot should be coming up right about now right about now just that the okay signature and there we go okay so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you hopefully in my next video bye